looking at uh, what we have been uh, working on this week in terms of nutrition policies uh, and food systems, one of the things uh, that Nakuru County is looking to do is to improve the nutrition status of our population. Currently, Nakuru County has a stunting level of 18.5% uh, among children under five, which has been a great improvement from the previous 27.9%. Uh, uh, this improvement has been attributed to some of the partnerships that we are engaging in uh, as a county government. So working with partners and the county government to improve the food and nutrition security of the people of Nakuru. And we are doing this through offering nutrition education uh, around uh, maternal, infant and young child nutrition, just ensuring that within the first 1,000 days, our mothers and children are well nourished. So with this, it's also uh, we also do this through a multi-sectoral approach, working with other departments, such as the Department of Agriculture, to ensure that people are able to grow nutritious foods, even in the small spaces that we have. We know that Nakuru County has a large population that lives in the urban uh, settings. So for these people, they do not have large pieces of land, but uh, through the collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, we are able to do uh, kitchen gardens within a very small space to ensure that uh, our mothers and children are able to access uh, nutritious fruits and vegetables within uh, their homesteads. So we are hoping that we will be able to sustain these gains uh, through this cascade project, just ensuring that we adopt and develop uh, a nutrition policy uh, for the county to sustain these gains and ensure that we are further able to improve the nutrition status of the people of Nakuru. Women and girls are uh, more often than not um, excluded from um, a lot of uh, development work, be it in the agriculture sector, be it in food nutrition and security, and yet uh, they constitute majority of those who even offer um, labor and uh, who also um, participate in reproductive work that actually ensures that uh, families or households uh, have access to nutritious foods. So um, as care, we try as much as possible to uh, include women and uh, girls in everything that we do. And of course, we also work with men and boys to help us um, support uh, women and girls to be able to achieve gender equality. So um, in the Cascade project that uh, CARE is a member, we try as much as possible to support um, women to participate more in um, food value chains uh, that are of importance. We work in Nairobi County, in uh, Nakuru, and in uh, Nyandarwa. We've been here in Naivasha at Seriani Hotel to disseminate findings of our studies uh, that were focusing on uh, private service providers, engagement in county processes and police enhancement, and also food systems and nutrition policies and social protection. So, so far we have uh, quite, uh, we have a number of departments uh, that are um, represented from three counties that we're implementing the project in. That is Nakuru, uh, Nairobi, and Nyandarwa. And uh, we are focusing on uh, ensuring that the policies are well are disseminated at different levels, from county level all the way to community level. And uh, the aim of the project majorly is also to look at um, policy strengthening, both at national and, uh, sub -county le and county level, to enhance knowledge in different departments, uh, specifically on nutrition-related aspects. So in Nairobi, under uh, the nutrition um, docket, we actually are battling with the malnutrition of the children in the city. Our stunting rates stand at about 18%. And uh, considering the number of children who are in the city, then that is quite a huge number. We are actually number seven in uh, malnutrition in the country. And this is because we have very high poverty levels in Nairobi. 60% of the Nairobi population live in the informal settlements. And uh, people who live in the informal settlements actually do casual labor, and a lot of them are struggling with, um, with, uh, with low socioeconomic status. 
And so with low socioeconomic status, it comes to a poor quality of life, it comes to high illiteracy levels, and uh, people struggle to actually put food on the table because of the high cost. In terms of resilience, we find that the Nairobi population is not resilient because then if someone does not find a job for the day, then they will not put a meal on the table uh, for the family. Uh, so what we've done as a county, um, under the routine um, activities within the health sector, we are uh, doing micronutrient supplementation for the children. We've upscaled and strengthened our growth monitoring and promotion, even up to community level. We have extended this to the schools. And uh, we are also implementing a school feeding program uh, for the children uh, in our public ECD and uh, primary schools. And the reason we did this is because we realized that uh, one in four children in Nairobi actually come to school hungry. Skinning Up Nutrition is a United Nations organization. We are in several countries uh, all over the world. Here in Kenya, uh, the patron is the president, is the, the patron of the uh, of uh, Skilling Up Business, Skilling Up Nutrition. And uh, we have got several softers. We are at the national level, we have got the county softers. Uh, which helps us to coordinate our work down to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the county, you know, to the county levels. We have got this in San. We have got several uh, several networks. One of the networks deals with the government. Another network deals with uh, is uh, advocacy. Another network is uh, uh, academia. We have got. Uh, a network for the youth. We have got a, a network for the government. So we have got also a network for the donors. As a county, we have a challenge uh, in as far as malnutrition is concerned. Uh, our st stunting uh, for children less than five years is 18%. And uh, that is quite high. It is at the same level as the, at the national level. And given the fact that uh, Nyandaro is a bread basket for Kenya, then that is uh, unacceptably uh, high. Um, one of the strategies uh, that we are using to uh, curb this is of course the uh, food fortification. Um, this one to address micronutrient deficiencies which are quite high. Uh, you realize that uh, deficiencies especially for iron, uh, zinc, uh, vitamin A are quite high and therefore fortification is a strategy that uh, we want to enforce with the support of our partner, uh, Cascade. Um, uh, so we are looking forward to address this uh, challenge um, to ensure that um, uh, we uh, actually uh, uh, do well in as far as the fortification is concerned. Um, Multisectoral collaboration, of course, is key. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to working with all our partners to ensure that uh, we succeed.